to it or add low weights it's going to be high reps now if for some reason high reps is too much for you just stick with the regular reps and just take your time and follow us along best you can okay all right so let's do some butt kickers get those legs moving a bit so we're going to do like 25 reps 20 reps 15 reps 10 reps and five reps. Each set of reps has a different movement. So for example, 25 reps is high knees. 20 reps is a squat thrust or a regular squat with a ball. And then the 15 reps is lunges or donkey kicks. 10 reps is gonna be sumo squats. And then five reps is gonna be burpees. A walk down plank, or you can do standing jacks, which is just like this. All right, let's do some hip circles. Woo! All right, I'm gonna turn my fan on a bit. Now that I'm starting to get a little bit warmed up, I can open my window. Okay, and then the next round. We have two rounds of two different kinds of uh, workouts like that um, with different exercises. And then if we have any time left, there's a core burn at the end. All right. Let's go. Getting our heart rate up now. Big step to the side. go okay let's get ready for that workout shall we okay let's practice the movements before we actually start all the the rigmarole of uh, doing it so that way you know it, well, it's coming okay so the first one is high knees you can either do high knees like this or a jog high knees you get those knees up high a little more higher impact up to you okay second one is a squat thrust you have dumbbells on your shoulders you're gonna squat thrust okay or alternative is just squats with a ball and don't worry about doing 
20 reps, you can just follow along and take your time. And then 15 is lunges. So we're going to do alternate sides, lunges. You can do it with or without weights. We're doing high reps, so not as important. Or you could do a donkey kick. That's the alternative to lunges. Just getting you on board for the round. And then sumo squats, that's when you become a sumo wrestler. You get that bum down. That's our sumo squats. Or if for some reason you can't do sumo squats, you can do a butt touch on a chair. Just like that, touching your bum on a chair, okay? And then burpees. Everyone knows what a burpee is. Your alternative would be to do walk down into a plank and walk back up. Or you could just do standing jacks until the burpees end, okay? Here we go, let's have a sip of water. Ready to go. Okay, we're gonna do 25 high knees, that's 25 per leg. Let's go. Three. <clears throat> 15, 16, 19, 20, 2, 3, 4, 5, excellent. Look, my pants are falling down, what? Okay, squat thrust, 20 squats, or just follow along and do as many as you can. Five. <laughs> this one's gonna get old, eh? <laughs> Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Halfway. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, woohoo! All right, 15 lunges. You can keep those dumbbells in your hands. Or just put those hands on your waist or you're doing donkey kicks. 15 per side. One. You can also do a standing lunge or a single leg glute bridge. Lots of choices. That's four. Five. Ooh. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Ooh, fourteen. Glad I have my window open now. That's fifteen. Okay, grab a sip of water. We'll do some sumo squats. Or you could do those chair butt touches I showed you. Here we go. I'm going to grab one dumbbell. Feet out. Lower it. All you focus on is nice. Straight spine, chest up, 
lowering that bump. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, one more. One more for good measure. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, either five burpees, you can either do them in a walk down, which I'm gonna do because since I'm in my pneumonia, I've noticed my lungs are still mad at me. So instead of doing a full-on burpee, I'm gonna put my hands to the floor, step out into a plank, come back up. One. Standing jacks right now. Five. Okay, here we go. That's one. High knees, 25 reps. Let's go. Six. Ball behind your back, maybe. Five. Six. kicks or single leg glute bridges. Let's go. Good times. Three. <laughs> so it's per side, right? Four. 
going to 10. Five. Put that bum down. Keep your chest up. Six. Eyes on the horizon. Eight. Nine. Ten. There. I got a lot of work to get these suckers back. Okay, here we go. Five burpees or walk downs. Or you can just do standing jacks. Three. Excellent. One more round. Good job. That was fun. High knees. 25 reps. Let's go. Two, three, four. You notice I got a uh, disco on for today. 13. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's my uh, motivation beat. <laughs> Squat thrust. My favorite. 20 reps. Here we go. 1, 2, Get that bum down. 
Nine. Ten. Awesome. Five burpees or walk downs or standing jacks. Whew, here we go. One. on to the next round which is all on the floor so have light dumbbells heavy dumbbells whatever you think you want to do uh, it is going to be high reps so maybe just keep it medium to light all right here we go Okay, let's practice our movements before we do them all. So, we're going to do bicycle legs, right? So, put your hand under your bum, you're just going to ride your bike, right? Just like that. Okay, alternative if you want a little more higher intensity is to do mountain climbers. Okay, second movement is a chest press. You can do it in a glute bridge or just lying flat. If you have uh, shoulder issues, I recommend you keep your elbows beside your ribs when you do your chest press. Okay. And then what? A, and then we have Russian twist is next. Everyone knows how to do a Russian twist. We're gonna do 15 of those per side. Uh, and then we have a side on our side. We're going to do 10 reps of these. So one thing I want you to pay attention to is don't let your arm curve like go down like that. You want that 90 degree angle the whole time. Some nice straight lines coming down. Really fight that urge to let your wrist go in and also make sure your wrist is straight and not hanging back. Okay, so that's the, we'll do those, 10 reps on each side. And then we're gonna do a lie flat to core position. So you know, lie flat, you're gonna come up into a core crunch. Now, if that seems ridiculously impossible, instead, you're gonna do a bird dog like this. Okay, five per side. So that's your choices. Kind of ran through them. Let's get started. We have 25 bicycle legs, and that's per leg. If you really want to, you can go up higher and lift your bum up off the floor, or you can just put your hands below your lower back. Let's do bicycles. One, two, big ones. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Perfect. Get ready for your chest press. Blue bridge. Here we go. 20 reps. Two. Three. Watch those 90 degree angles. Four. Remember, shoulder issues. Keep your arms at your side. Six. Hips up. Seven. Squeeze those butt cheeks. Eight. Nine. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Excellent. Take one dumbbell if you want. Let's do our Russian twist. If you want it, you can do a tap. 15 per side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, you can always go at your own pace. You don't have to do all these reps if it's killing you. But if you can do it, keep up. There's 15. Good job. Lie on your side. Support your neck. 90 degree angle. 10 reps. Watch that wrist. It's going to want to flop back. You want a nice straight wrist. So your wrist and your knuckles, it's a straight line. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I see my wrist tried to cheat. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do the other side. Other side, is my wrist straight? No, it wasn't. I had to fix it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Full control. Five. Straightening my arm. Bringing that elbow up and down. Eight. Watch that wrist. Nine. Last one, 10. All right, guys, lie flat to core, almost like you're going into a cannonball, or you're doing those bird dogs. Here we go, nice and flat. Come up, hug those knees. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Here we go. We're doing the bicycles. So I'm going to support my back, lift those legs up, and as big a circles as you can make. Two, three, four, five, six. This is actually a core exercise. Go figure, eh? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Perfect. Glute bridge chest press. So I'm going to grab my dumbbells in a safe way. Don't just reach over to the side while you're lying on your back. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to tilt my pelvis, so move my hip bones towards my face, then lift my hips up, and do 20 chest press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 16, get those hips up, 17, 18, 19, one more, 20, perfect, brush and twist, one dumbbell, here we go, one, two, 
We're doing 15, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Wow, those, those extra few should make a difference, hey? <laughs> 15. Okay, going to our side. Whew. There we go. Straight wrist. 10 reps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can do the other side. Woo! I like this disco music track. <laughs> okay, here we go. Street rest. Ninety degree angle. Let's go. One. Two, three, four. It's all about moving that elbow up and down, keeping that wrist straight. Five, six, seven, eight. My wrist keeps trying to compensate and drop back. Nine. I'm not going to let it. Ten. Perfect. All right. Oh, okay, five life flat decor or bird dogs. Let's go. Two, three, four, five. Awesome. Here we go. Get ready for those bicycles again. So I'm gonna support my lower back with my hands. Big bicycles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Whew. All right, chest press. Here we go. Pelvic tilt, lift those hips up. Let's do that glute bridge. Squeeze those butt cheeks. Let's go. 20 reps. One, two, three, four, Six. Keep those butt cheeks squeezed. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And 20. Awesome. Russian twist. One dumbbell. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Line on our sides. Here we go. Straight wrist. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. I think my music ended. <laughs> Ten. But I was listening to it before we started the workout. Let's do the other side. We'll finish this round. And then we'll put some uh, more music on. One. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. The other day I walked out the door and a fly flew into my head. The flies and all the bugs are confused. They thought they were supposed to come out now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Lie flat. Here we go. Lie flat to core or bird dog. Five reps. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. Woo. I don't know why I did ten when we're only supposed to do five. It's because I was thinking about putting music on. <laughs> Here we go. Crazy thing. Why is it being so misbehaving? Here we go. Maybe that'll work. Okay, so. Let's see how much time we have left. Oh, we got time for core. Darn, hey? Okay, we're still on the floor. So we're just gonna do 20 reps of all of these core exercises for about five minutes and we're done. Okay, here we go. So first one's dead bug. 20 reps per side, let's go. Woo. Remember, you can have your feet on the floor. If you got a lower back issues, it's a really good idea. Three. Four. Five. That's per side. Don't get any bright ideas. <laughs> Seven. Try and reach out from your body. Ten. And again, if it bugs your back, just put your feet on the floor. Just make sure your belly button area is pushed into the floor. Into, so you're holding that part of your body down while you're extending the rest of you. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. Next one is uh, we're going to do just sit ups, right? So you swing your arms and touch the floor between your feet. Come down and touch the floor above your head. Now, if that's something you don't want to do, you can just stay on the floor and do reverse crunches. Okay? Here we go. 20 reps. One. Two. Three. Four.
20. Woo. Okay, here we go, heel taps. So this is gonna work the lower part of our body. So we really wanna keep those, that uh, 90 degree angle behind those knees when we drop the heel to the floor. Here we go, 20 per side. One, two, times 13 hey remember when we did 20 heel taps <laughs> 14 ah. it's always those last five that get me 17 18 19 and 20 Woo! wasn't that fun okay Bicycle crunches, 20 reps per side. Now, if for some reason it bothers your neck, keep your head down and just do the lower body part. Okay? Here we go. I like to put my fingers around my ears so that I'm not really straining my neck when I do them. So, and make sure you extend your leg all the way out when you uh, bring your shoulder up. Here we go, all the way out. Here we go, one. Per side, 10, 11, 13, 14, kick that leg all the way out, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Whew. good core burn for the end. Okay, one more exercise for the core, here we go, so your legs are straight up, Staring at your laces. We're gonna keep our hands on the floor for to anchor our bodies. We're gonna move our legs in the shape of an infinity sign or an eight lying on its side, right? Here we go. One. Two. Three. Uh, this one's gonna suck for <laughs> what a thing to say, eh? Five. Ooh, six, seven, gotta wake those core, eight, I really can't wait until I get my cardio back, I just find, uh, I almost needed to go get that puffer they gave me during Trudy's workout, which is crazy, I've never had asthma or anything, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, <laughs> Woo, 20, good, hug those knees, rock side to side, oh yeah, let's get on my lower back. Straighten your right leg all the way to the floor. Take that left knee and just pull it across your body towards your right shoulder. Whew. Let's switch legs. So now I got my right shoulder, our right knee, pulling it towards my left shoulder. Just stretching that back of my hip there. Mm. 
and give yourself a pat on the back for showing up on a Wednesday morning. <laughs>